Mr. Rudd, thanks for your time. It's good to be with you, Brian. Good to be with you. Mr. Rudd, we hear a lot about emissions trading schemes. Yes, we um, do, and we're going to, Brian, because we need to address this question of emissions. It's one of the most urgent problems facing the planet. That's right. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. And, and an emissions trading scheme, Brian, is designed to do that. Can you tell me how it works? It works by reducing emissions, Brian. The whole yes. point of it is the reduction of those dangerous emissions. emissions it, it, yes. it, it reduces the emissions. emissions. Yes. Yeah. yeah, no, I understand that, of course. But... How does it work? It it's works by reducing emissions. Yes, emissions. Right. Yeah. The reduction of emissions is the sole purpose of the trading system. Yes, yes. Uh, we, we know that. We hear that all the time. But what I want you to do is explain to me really simply how the trading scheme works. Well, it's an emissions trading scheme, Brian. Yes, it we, works by the trading of yes. emissions. But, Mr Rudd, how are the emissions traded? Well, they're traded in various different ways, Brian. There are various different trading methods in this area, just as there are in any other area. OK, so there's a market. Well, there's a market in some countries, Brian, yes. Capitalist countries, I In the capitalist countries, yes. But in the control economies, although the trading will go on, it will be, it will be based differently. It will work well, in a different what's way. What's the difference? Well, what's the difference between the capitalist economy and a, and a control economy. I mean, in a capitalist economy, for example, you might say man exploits man. And in the control economies? Well, exactly the opposite, Brian. But surely the emissions are being traded either way, aren't they? Well, as I say, it can work in various different ways. In New South Wales, let's take a local example, Brian. In New South Wales, they have a greenhouse gas abatement scheme. Right, and how does that work? It works through the abatement, Brian, of greenhouse gases. Yes, but Mr Rudd, how does it work? I mean, this well, is the point. Well, they abate them, Brian. They abate the yes. gases and you get a what, certificate. You have an, ab an abatement certificate? You get an abatement certificate, Brian. If you reduce greenhouse gases. Correct, emissions. you get a certificate, yeah. Have you got one? No, Brian, I haven't as yet been able to... Um, abate your emissions. ...get down there and pick one up, Brian. You, you really don't understand any of this. I do, Rudd, I'm, I'm no, right across I this. This is so. a very, very important issue, Brian, I mean, and I am right across well, it. Well, if you were, that you, you would be able to explain to us really simply what it is. I mean, you know, something like, um, you know, if you breathe, plant a tree. Yeah, well, more, I mean, you've, as I understand it, Brian, that's more or less the case. That's more well, or less okay. what well, we're talking about. You see, everybody wants to help, Mr Rudd. I mean, we can reduce the, the, the petrol we use, we can change our lives a little bit, but, yeah. you know, we need to know what we are doing. Yeah. Penny, uh, yeah, I get it. I think I understand. Brian's just explained this to me. Yeah. He's actually had not a bad idea. I'll put him on. Hang on a minute. Just explain that to yeah. Penny. That's Penny. Oh, hi, Penn. It's yeah. Brian. Let's yeah. this, Penn. The idea is you breathe out, yeah, and you plant a tree. Yeah. You just keep going. I'll go and plant the tree. Yeah.